<laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we're on right now. Uh, this is our cool guy promo show. This we- is the real show. Yeah. For all of you patrons, $5 and above, there'll be a fake show after this. But this is the real show. Yeah. Who so, is worse? Yeah, tonight we're going to ask the question, who is worse? Last time we asked this question, it was Jared versus JRC3. And somehow Jared won who is worse. But JRC3 did not come off un- unscathed. He was pretty terrible, too. Yeah. So it's 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 not a competition. Nobody is absolved here, right? Like at the end of, at the end of tonight, G Man or Shetty won't get a get out of jail free card. No, and and I see people saying objectively Shanny and Rev. Some people are saying some that. people say that, and some people say G Man wins. Uh, G Man says that he wins all the time. Fact. Yes. So we are going to. Answer that question tonight. If you want to see the show, sign up. Link in the description, patreon.com slash DP. All of patrons, $5 and above, will get this show that we're about to do tonight as well as, as, well as uh, the actual mania that we're doing coming up here on Friday. Friday so. for the King of Cringe. We are going to vote on five determining factors to determine who is worse tonight. I'm going to switch the camera view so you can see it here. We're going to figure out who the fakest Christian is, who is less Christ-like. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, we, we know that they're not Christ, right? But they, they sure as hell use Christ as a, a moral shield. Well, and I used to hear that term, Christ-like, all the time in uh, Catholic school, they'd be like, behave, behave in a Christ-like manner. I'm hung so, like Christ. Yeah. Worst opinions. Who has the dumbest takes? This is going to be another tough one. I, I have huh. in my head, I have my ideas, but I'm going to need to review the evidence and figure this one out. Uh, most racist, which is self-explanatory, <laughs> but like, it's it really is a question that has to be asked. Shani has dropped the bomb on numerous occasions. But then G-Man defends it. G-Man, is it worse when you're, like, racist against your own race? I'm not even sure. Yeah. I'm not even sure what's worse. We're going to figure that one out tonight. The biggest criminal. There's another category we voted on. Whose documented criminal history is larger? Uh, I think that we've seen... Some of this before, but we'll uncover the 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 dirt. And then the final choice to vote on is who poses the greatest threat? Who's realistically the greatest threat to others? And that's uh, that's a hard one too. I think there's some in- inter- internal threats in the Shanny and Rev camp. Yeah, in, and, with their family. And I think that G Man uh, externalizes his. Uh, he actually threatens people, but then yeah, but then there's there's been DV on uh, from both Shani and Rep perpetrated against each other and the children. There's a lot. I, I, it's going to be a tough one. And I thought last time that uh, James Robert Clark the third would have won easily, but Jared was kind of a creeper hit, like a winner. He just won. Yeah, I think JRC3 won the categories that were the most vile. Yeah. But Jared ousted him on the other categories, which was how the cookie crumbled. Yeah. G-Man wins! So we will figure that out very uh, very shortly. Uh, the reason why we're doing this stream is to let you guys know that we are doing this uh, Patreon private show tonight. It would really help us out if you want to sign up. Link down below, patreon.com slash DP. I'll put it in the chat, too. I do have a video to go to watch just for fun, though, while we uh, continue this stream and continue to talk about the the Who's Worse stream tonight. We got some new patrons today, so that's exciting. Y'all be able to join us. Don't miss out. You should be one of the new patrons also. Link right there, five bucks. Who is worse? 
Let's check out um, a little bit of this video. I found this uh, interesting. This is pro gamer Jared Genesis fails to beat stage one of Contra on NES. Hmm. Did he use the Konami code? I, he probably, even if he did, he probably gave up before he ran out of lives. It's Snow Bros. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome to Jared's old school fucking gaming episode. Jared's uh, old school today fucking gaming episode. We're gonna be starting episode. a lovely game known as Snow Brothers. Uh, it's Snow I had this Bros. Game back when I was a little kid, I still own it to this day, and believe it or not, it's worth over two hundred dollars. Simply because it's made by the great Capcom. So I hope you guys enjoy the stream. We'll see how far we can get. It's been a while since I played, so forgive me. And uh, shout-outs to my homie Jeff. He wanted me to play Street Fighter, but I tried earlier. I was just terrible. I'm on keyboard right now, and uh, <laughs> I need to get some grips for my controller, so I will play that Grips? Soon. Just wanted to make that known. But, uh, guys, without further ado... I thought this, he was going to play Contra. Yes. Let's see if he plays Contra eventually, because I think he does. Or maybe he doesn't. He just plays Snow Bro. Oh, no, no, here it is, here it is. A little bit of fun, guys. So the beginning of this is just him playing Snow Bros. Like, who really cares? So just take one second here, but I must warn you, uh, I'm an expertise in this game. He's he an even, expertise? He can't even pronounce it. <laughs> I'm an expertise in this game. Not really, but I used to be fairly decent at the Super Nintendo one. Um, Does he have a cop out for when he fails level one? Is he? There we go. Is he trying so to explain his way get. out of sucking? He might. Okay. I gotta remember. X is a fire. Z is jump. He's using a it's keyboard for weird. one thing, too, and that's... Know. The controls in this game are strange. Ah, uh, yes, the controller. I hate when the controller doesn't work. Well, for... What I mean to say is for keyboard. If you're playing on keyboard, it's kind of strange, but... Uh, there's only two buttons. I guess I really... It's funny, because he doesn't have a Nintendo, but then he has all these Nintendo games that in his collection. Like, I can't say anything. Did the Nintendo know. break, or...? He's, he's, I don't know how long he's had Anyhow. them. Oh, you got me. He has a Super Nintendo that I've seen. He probably doesn't have a Whenever capture I card. Die, it's always in a stupid way in this game. Seems like, like with a single bullet. I don't know, man. Oh, why did that kill him? I should have died. Oh, well. All right, laser. Jared should sell all of his video games and put it into crypto it. so he can become a crypto millionaire. You gotta let this one Yeah, he can buy some DP coin. <laughs> That's what she said. Boom. Damn, wrong button. Oh, shit skis. That's <laughs> cursing in Polish. Shit skis. How no, do you like him not. appropriating uh, your okay, language? So that is not cursing uh, a Polish. That's I your people's even... curse word. How do you like him using okay. it? Shit That was pretty bad. We'll give it one more go. <laughs> one more People go are saying his emulator's laggy. He's, he's, he's using an HTML emulator. It's like yeah. off of a website. Alrighty. Machine gun. You don't have to hold this one down. Fuck a <clears> real gun. I want this. As a pro gamer, or I mean to say, he, he doesn't like that do bridge, right? He likes to jump into the water. Huh. And that's why the turbo button was so popular back in the day. Um, if you didn't have a controller with a turbo button, well, you had to go out and buy one because of games like this, dude. No, there's a. It was a, all just a. There's a rapid fire like, weapon in it. I'm sure that you these can companies use. Companies were probably connected with the controller companies. There's a fully you know auto. Probably work together. To make a uh, weapon power up that you can get. Think about it. But you have to go back time, so. and get that turbo controller so you don't look like a buffoon, Jared. 
Damn it. He, he just like, fell off I the legend. Oh, he died Eagles again. Throw me off. Fuck off. Love Turbo you. controllers were cheating, weren't they? We're like, gonna end I mean, they gave you an edge, for sure. Like, like, yeah. Because it was like hyper-tapping just by holding down the button. Boys. Also, Shani is a big lady, so does she automatically qualify for biggest racist? Uh, we, we didn't no. mean by, like, m like body mass. Because pound for pound, wouldn't that make G-Man the biggest racist then? Oh, damn. He's like the Floyd Mayweather of racism. Right? <laughs> he's not the biggest, but he's... The the best. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. The He's best. the biggest racist in all of tonight's competition. <laughs> I can say that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Is this the end of the Jared video? Yeah, that's the end of it. Or well, almost. Let's just do some more old school Nintendo, shall we? What are you going to do now, Jared? Stabby McHugs is defending here? Jared's gameplay. Super Mario World. Uh, Stabby McHugs would. Stabby right? McHugs thinks Must anybody would suck this bad over HTML know. with a keyboard. But, uh, I had a turbo know. controller. But know, isn't man. that a testament to how much he sucks as a gamer that he's not willing to put forth the minimal effort to get? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. He's not willing to put forth the minimal effort that it takes to get a Nintendo or or it he. He could have got uh, gotten a switch for free, but our terrible fans scared away his. Uh, and and then he could have played all the classic games. Damn it! Darn it! But darn it's okay because it. our fans got me a switch for free, so we don't need Jared to get one for free. We have a net positive gain. I have a switch too, for free. Yeah, it was good. Man, our fans are so our, our <laughs> fans are the best. Um, That's two free switches to Jared's zero free switches. Our fans win again. Yeah, um... Jared, I still own this game and it's over $200. Also, Jared, plays this game on HTML emulator with a keyboard right. and a bunch of lag. Uh, is Snow Bros worth $200? If he already has the game, all he needs is like an old NES, and th those aren't really that expensive. Well, anything for him is probably expensive. He should sell his games and buy a, a, a t-shirt or something. A t-shirt? I don't know. I don't know... Like, how much money he really has in games and what the benefit of selling them would even be. I'm trying to see how to buy Snow Bros online. I'm looking for the price of Snow Bros. They're usually inflated online. Was it a Sega game or an NES game? I think it was an NES game. It might have been for both, though. There were a few titles that were available for both. The loose price of Snow Bros NES Online is going for two hundred and seventy dollars on yeah. price charting, and it's usually always a little inflated. The thing is, is like these retro gaming YouTubers that all their content is is about retro games. They just mentioning a game in their video will make the price of that game go up. Yeah, it's they have, crazy. They have a uh, timeline of the price of the game and Metal Jesus talking about it. Yeah, in twenty ten, the game Loose was worth about fifty bucks. And it's just climbed. Uh, at one point, the loose version of the game was three fifty, so it's actually down from uh, about a year ago. Interesting. Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! I forgot about this. Jared did. <laughs> Jared. Oh my god! Hold on, let me find you this video. <laughs> <Hold> on. <laughs> He got... Did you say the game was called Snow Bros or Snow Brothers? Snow Bros. It's spelled S-N-O-B-R-O-S. -S. Yeah, the uh, cover of the game spells brothers out fully on that, this website. Those fuckers. It's tricky. Because the, like, the title screen of the game says Snow Bros. I know bros is like an abbreviation of brothers, but it just sounds better as Snow Bros. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers was the name of the game Super Mario Bros. right? Yeah. But, but it spelled it's bros true. as well. Look at Nintendo just trying to reappropriate bros. The new movie Bros that's coming out is all about gay people. I'm excited you mean the movie Brothers? I, I, see, that's what I thought. But it's called Bros. You mean, you mean it's called Brothers? It's right? confusing, isn't it? Uh, check this out. Check this out. Uh, <laughs> he got like baited into doing this. <laughs> What's the chair doing on his bed? To get out of the way so he could do this. Oh, okay. Weird. This is so gross. <laughs> I 
wonder how much the Nest game Eskimo Brothers goes for. Ooh. Is Do there you like one? how the, the bot read it out brothers and not bros? <laughs> what the hell? This bot even knows it's brothers. This is weird. This is a weird timeline. I don't know if this should be if this is TikTok appropriate. This is not human appropriate. This is gross. <laughs> Oh my god. Who is worse? Who is worse? Ladies and gentlemen, shortly after this surprise Sunday stream, we'll be doing our Who is Worse Patreon. Patrons $5 and above will join us. $10 and above gets bonus content. Uh, the, uh, right now we're doing a book club, so if you're a $10 patron or above, you can join us for that as well after episodes. It's always uh, a good investment when you invest in drunken peasants. Well said. Well said, my good man. So tonight we're judging you, the people, will vote on these five categories and uh, we'll decide who's worse. And we'll know once and for all that no matter who is worse, they're both reprehensible. Yeah, it's like Shani and Rev are like, we almost count them as one person, one total person. Which is unfair because they're really more like four or five total people. <laughs> so three or four of those is Shani. <laughs> yeah, was, who's counting? No, Shanny's. If there are four or five people, then three or four of those five, four or five people is Shanny. Was that an attempted at a squat? If it was, he failed very badly at it, and it looked like he was trying to do a sumo pose. I have no idea what, what glad, that was all about. I'm just glad nothing fell out of his underwear. Yeah, that was something. That was sickening to to witness. He, he hasn't been active for a, a little bit here, so I don't know what's going on with that whole thing. I guess we'll see. Jared hasn't been active? I, I haven't seen anything new from him. That was the probably, last... He's probably got a new channel somewhere that we haven't found yet. He still has his other new channel. He makes 17... Cha Maybe he's in jail. <laughs> Maybe. There was that tipping point where Christine Weston Chandler went too far and got locked up. Do we think Jared has a tipping point? I think that would have been found out by now because there are people that watch him so closely. Agent 006 is wondering if there's a berry picking emulator. Jared might have gone out berry picking on his berry picking emulator. I can't. That has ruined berry picking for me. Have you ever went berry picking? Yeah. I. That's not a thing that like. Like it's not an eventful thing. I picked berries when I was a kid because there were bushes everywhere. But yeah, I there's didn't, blackberry like, bushes. I didn't everywhere. go to a berry picking farm or something. I've done that too. Yeah, I, was, I don't. The berry picking farm thing just seems so foreign to me. But that's because there was literally like blackberries in like every backyard because they're ridiculous. Yeah. They overgrow here in the northwest. Yeah, they're like a nuisance plant here. Yeah. They just happen to have good fruit on like them. All our weeds in the northwest. We, we, this is the weeds we have in northwest. Legal weed and blackberries that just go everywhere. Even everywhere. Our, we have the best weeds in the northwest. You smoke it or you got those sweet blackberry weeds. If you don't like blackberries, sometimes you get raspberry weeds. I always get blackberry picking wounds. I always end up getting stuck at at least once by the because I'm like oh there's like a beautiful like bunch of them hanging there and you're reaching for it and then your arm gets all scraped up and you're like ah you know but then you just keep picking them when you go it? too close to the sun Leslie join it on the Patreon everybody Patreon, Patreon. everybody watching right now I want to see your name pop up there too come on in join us tonight we're going join we're going us to tonight. get to the bottom the bottom join of the bottom we're getting to the bottom of the bottom feeders tonight, and who is worse? Jared has a video upload on his YouTube, says Flock of Possum. Well, well, I didn't know that. He has what? Uh, I think that someone said he rides bike when weather permits. What's up, the Dark Canuck? How you doing? There, There is like an old video of him riding a bike. Oh. Um... G-Man is avoiding facing his horrible existence of a low-paid, dead-end job 
and bad accommodation in expensive Atlantic City. <laughs> you want a trip to Atlantic City? Yeah, you better you better watch out in Atlantic City. Bob, 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 Bob coming in on the Patreon. Yeah. That's thank Bob, you, thank Bob. you, people. Cheers, Bob, Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. It's gonna be a wild night. Uh, I've been told that we're gonna watch all of the OnlyFans content. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 that will not be happening. You want people to to join, right? That's true. Yeah, um, That's true. But we are going to watch a lot of stuff. I have a lot of video footage lined up. Uh, people keep bringing up the Oreo Express. Is that referring to how G-Man ate the Oreo? I th- pretending to be Shanene's JJ. I think. Shanene por Cristo? <laughs> what's, th- what's that? It's, it's uh, what's his name? Uh, Poor drunken Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> this is the fucking cover for the Three Stooges remake. Stop nuk, humping nuk, me, nuk, you nuk. imbeciles. Nuk, nuk, nuk. I watched the Three Stooges movie from like no, 10 years ago the other night. No. It was, it was no, fantastic. No. Stop. Have you seen it? I don't want to talk about it. Have you seen it? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, wow. It's got Larry David in it. Quality film. Okay. Surprisingly good. Um, So... Yeah, uh, we should probably give everyone a quick uh, actual mania overview, also. So let's uh, let's take a look um, at, at who we're dealing with here. Because if you sign up now, not only do you get the show we're doing tonight, you're gonna get this show on Friday. Yeah, like it's a deal. Yeah, five dollars and above. We're gonna have Honest Red going against uh, Marshall Mathers the fourth. The fourth. Michigan rep. Michiganistan represent. We're going to have April Elizabeth versus Art Van Groh. Yes. For the uh, very weird title of yeah, Cringe what... Queen. Uh, we have the tag team titles, our Cool Taste King Cobra champions going against Midge and Biscuit, the uh, Egghead approved Drag Queen team. We've got the actual Mania Cringe Away Championship. Andy Dick, our champion, will defend against Chicken Andy, Mexican Andy. Asian Andy in a four-way elimination Andy Mania actual Mania matchup. It's running wild, brother. It's big boy. And then we have our champion Ben going against Kay's Cooking in a Hell's Kitchen delicious uh, cook-off. Somebody's going to get hungry. And of course, the main event, the Smarty came out of nowhere with that King of Cringe title and his challenged egghead to what I can only call a blood feud. It is a now. blood feud for the King of Cringe. Daniela coming on the Patreon. Good stuff. Welcome, everybody. I want to see your names there. Follow through. Because not only will you get to watch tonight's private show, Who Is Worse, G-Man, Shanny, and Rev Edition, you also get to watch this King of Cringe on Friday, Friday, Friday. That was done so well. Damn. Um, let's see what else we have. Ben Pye, the cooking guy. Cook, 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 cook. Is that how it goes? I think so, yeah. Cook, cook, cook. There will be blood. There might be. Because I'm not letting that crazy British woman take my title. You're going to make blood pudding? Blood pudding? Um, I don't know. I The most messed up stuff about Kay, Kay's cooking is that at the end she makes her son eat it while she just stands there and stares at him. And he's all like so, giving her the side eye like... She I brought him know. into this world. Yep. She could take him out exactly. with her cooking. Exactly. Egghead. Egghead will almost undoubtedly quit uh, actual mania if he loses, but then return immediately. 
Egghead quits and comes back yeah, every time. Mid conversation, every month at least once he quits. It's great. Back. He's been pretty good this week or this month. Yeah, yeah. I, has he quit against Smarty yet? No, I think he quit the the second. Like he lost against Honest Red, and yeah. he was mid quitting when Smarty's trailer debuted. Yeah, in Actual Mania. And he's like, oh. And then, like the end of the show, we had to just remind ourselves that he'll be back again in four minutes. <laughs> Indubitably. Indubitably. Larry floats down here. You guys are wild tonight. I just want you guys to know that everybody watching right now, you're all wild. <laughs> that they are. I. I feel kind of mind fucked right now because I watched so much G-Man and Shanny content today. That's too bad. Setting this up. That's not good. We're going to kind of like hop around throughout the history. Like I've got so many videos, but I think, you know, we can give like five minutes to each of them approximately, give or take, and get a true idea of what this is like and what they're like and how to answer the questions that people should have in mind here's a quick refresher as to what the questions are yeah this will be on the test guys we're gonna need you to watch with us vote with us choose who the fakest christian is because both of them are so christ-like right yeah shanny for christ and g-men is the g and g-men doesn't stand for god right he's not he's god not, man he's not the god man god right? man uh, but he he is no, I know what it stands for. He is but very godly. I know what it stands for. In his own mind. Yeah. Worst opinions. We're going to figure out who has the worst opinions, who has the dumbest takes. A lot of people say Shanny is hands down the dumbest, and I don't know how you could say that. When G-Man yeah. G -Man <laughs> says like these crazy things like, there are no starving children, yeah. and then corrects himself when you show him all the starving children. Well, there are no starving Christian children. Then you show him all the starving Christian children, and he says, oh, well, they're not true Christians. And you're like, well. Yeah, every every Christian child that is currently starving is not a real Christian. That, And the way you know is that they're starving. And yeah. if they were real Christians, God would have would have saved them. That's, that's the weird backwards logic that G-Man always uses. Like, we're not religious people. What if G-Man was right? What if what if all those starving kids are starving because they're not true Christians? How evil would God be at that point? Very evil. It's like, how could you worship that? I don't know. You'd have to be a very minuscule human being to not rebel right. against against the Lord. Right. But, you know, minuscule like, human beings. Like, that exist. would make me objectively morally better than God. Like, but God's kind of a fuck. Like, I have flaws, but just that alone would make me a better person than God. So it's like, wow, that's fucked up. We're going to ask the question, who's the most racist? Uh, you'd think that G-Man couldn't possibly lose this to Shanny for Christ, who has dropped the bomb towards G-Man. And other people on numerous occasions. But then G-Man goes and defends her saying it. <laughs> uh, he's like, he's like, I'm not mad at her for calling me that, so you can't be mad at her. It's like, what? <laughs> There's a quote from G-Man in the chat. Uh, if there is no God, then why am I a Christian? I remember that. I was there when he asked that. <laughs> what, a, what a wonderful fucking human being and th my favorite thing about g-man is that he wasn't born a into a christian family yeah nation of islam he chose this life <laughs> he yeah. was unless he's lying that's that could be true that's that a good polish name big right steven there. steven coming through on the patreon cheers I think brother it could be and then uh we're gonna look at the criminal records find out who the biggest criminal is not size wise pound for pound neither we're gonna make this all about the crime not about the Slime. And we're going to check out who poses the greatest threat overall. Uh, a lot of people say it's Shani and Rev because of their domestic issues. But G-Man uh, really externalizes uh, beyond. And I think that's a problem when you start threatening people's livelihoods, doxing, willy-nilly. Yeah, all. so like for a minute there, I would always, the first few years I knew G-Man, and I used to interact with him a lot more, 
I'd be like, wow, G-Man's actually a nice guy if you just don't talk about the the fucking religion part of it. But the problem is, is that G-Man is, is insane. And he makes it personal. He doxes people. He does. He goes as low as you can. Um, it's not a turn the other cheek type of response. <laughs> and a lot of times it's completely undeserved. Uh, the, the people that he's doing it to, he like overreacts uh, to a little bit of poking and prodding. It's and, very strange. And Jessica, welcome to the Patreon. Thank you. Patreon. Patreon. We're going to need uh, literally everybody watching I see, uh, to I, I see, uh, follow us through tonight. I see Pim Monk, the rebranded Pim Monk. He's King Beard X now. Mm -hmm. So he's not Pim Monk no more? No, he's King Beard X. Come, what do we call him? Uh, John. John? <laughs> John. Because Pimpy worked. Pimpy was a short for Pimp Monk. I'm trying to think how how we would call King Beard You just Beard call him X King now. Beard Pimp, pimp, king, he's got, king. He's got, this is his new channel. He's got 419 subscribers. I'm going to subscribe to it now. Go on in. There you go. Is the old channel archived? Yeah. Kingy. Kingy's a good one. You can, still, can still call, call him, him Pimpy. Thank the Lord. I was really getting anxious about figuring out how I was going to reintroduce myself to Pimp Monk. Pimpy works. Pimpy King Beard X channel. Go follow. If you don't follow, then swallow. If you don't swallow, spit that shit somewhere else. So who's else. worse? Who's worse, Pimpy? I don't know. Didn't well, I, Shani never sent her porn tape directly to Pimp Monk, right? That was Shabisky. Oh no, oh, no. I'm pretty sure Shani was it Pimp like, Monk? tagged Pimp Monk and everybody else. Okay. And she was like, "Yeah, Rev, fuck the shit out of me." And Rev's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," behind her. Oh, and she's like, "It's like." It's like her face is like right very close to the camera and then you just see her giant ass cheeks like behind her like <laughs> like she's like this little head and she's got this giant ass behind her and then you see Reb in a t-shirt like behind her like going like this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a bit much. Oh my god. That's a bit much. What do you mean it's much? Uh, what my description? Uh, Am I describing it too much? The video itself also, all of it. You don't see much. any. There's, there's no nudity in it. Well, like, there is sex, so it wouldn't be okay because there's obvious sex going on. So it wouldn't be good on YouTube. But there's no actual nudity. You don't see any boobs, vag, peen. Do you see? Don't you see like boobs? Like, no, you just don't see nipple. Yeah, so that's acceptable, like on TV and shit. You see her slop donkers just flopping down and her chunk of balumpa butt making a great wall of Gina. Yeah. And he's back there tapping like fucking Wilson on uh, Home yeah, Improvement. Yeah. Uh, his head just uh -huh. poking over the fence. It's not good. <laughs> it's not okay. Oh, man. So who's worse? And yet, and yet somehow he's saying all that. At least they're having consensual sex where G-Man is on a webcam thinking about Shani eating an Oreo like it's her vagina and simulating oral sex on an Oreo. And that right there, in my opinion, is worse than that video. So it's like you can't say that's the worst of the worst because this man, G-Man, was just simulating oral sex thinking about Shani for Christ. On our show, of all places. He did that on our show as a guest. Yep. That's when they were feuding. There's been a few times where they were not happy with each other. There was that huge, like, drama stream that they did where they were, like, going crazy and, like, and Shani was like, oh, yeah, g man, you just want to fuck me, don't you? <laughs> you sad motherfucker, because you want to fuck me so bad. And, uh, yeah. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, Flock of Possum, we're not going to play the Shanny and Rev banger. Uh, I don't think. You said there was no nudity, though. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. For $10 and above, you can get tonight's post show, Friday's post show, as well as our book on tape listening session with Brent Spiner, fan fiction, which is got to be 
loosely written on Gail Cord Schuler. It's just got to be. It's the timelines up. there. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Is Shanny a female Cartman? Uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, this is all the good, uh, all the good stuff that we're bringing you over the top, and we're also bringing you episodes on YouTube as well. Like this is good. We stuff. do a lot. We it's do good a lot. stuff. Thank you guys for helping support the good stuff because it's uh, it's important. It's important to us and hopefully to you too. Brent Spiner, not a very talented writer. Literally about as good as Gale is. He he didn't even write. The, I mean, like, he came up with the idea for it, but he didn't write it. He is a ghost writer, so it's not even him. So, yeah, he's not talented really at all because he had to hire someone to basically write it for him. When, like, and it wasn't that good anyway. When he reads, he reads the same way Gale reads. It's so weird. I like that. It's so weird. They're, they're very similar in a lot of ways. I can see why he fell so deeply in love with Gale and it's unfortunate that they can't be together in the church of Gale. Seb McHugg says, I'd have a charcuterie assortment on her fat ass. Is that true, Stab McHugs? Or are you just edging? Are you just edge lord over here? What is this? <laughs> what a charcuterie board? I mean, no. What? It, what, what why is he saying that? Uh, I don't know. He'd be peeling off salami all day. Well, what was it? Was it Jackass that I was watching? Jackass four point five. Uh, Zackass, the new cool fat guy that uh, is on Jackass's team. He. They did human sashimi where they put cuts of sashimi all in his fat folds oh. and then wrapped him up in a Reynolds wrap and made him run around so he just sweat all over the sashimi. Then they had all the, uh, the characters, uh, the jackass characters, peel it off and eat the sashimi. And so, Stab McHugs, I don't know if you've watched this and you got this idea and you, now you want to try it on Shani. With a nice Italian salami slam session, but uh, it's gross. It's icky. I watched. I watched people do this similar thing, and they were puking everywhere. It was nasty. It was icky. But on the better side of charcuterie, today I saw someone make a charcuterie board where they put soft butter on the board and then layered the butter with like herbs and uh, onions and spices and they even had edible flowers and honey and they made this like charcuterie butter spread dip for a delicious whole grain bread that was a very precious charcuterie a treat for me to watch i've been getting all these food videos sent to me lately and they're none of them are ever in english because i watch like Four or five guys making kebabs one day. And now my recommended is all just food from all over the world. It's like just random countries cooking like really beautiful art, street food and stuff. And it's, it's way better than the thoughts I was getting for months prior to this. I recommend if you guys are getting like a whole lot of MAGA content because you're all MAGA fans. Or if you're getting a whole lot of uh, dark Biden owned quotes or whatever in your feed or thought booties or whatever it is. If you're getting too much of something, just slowly start looking into uh, street food around the world and it will change your entire Internet experience. <laughs> um, so in a few, we're going to go do the private show. If you guys want to catch it, sign up. Patreon.com slash DP, just five bucks gets you the two private shows. Ten dollars gets you everything as far as all the video content that we make. So you should check it out. Bryant Field would like to watch street food made by thoughts. They probably have that. We have coffee stands. We have bikini coffee stands here. It's not a food truck, but it's close. I was driving by a bikini coffee stand the other day and one of the girls was like in her bikini and she was outside of the stand hugging an old man 
<laughs> you and probably I'm, gave I'm, her a big tip. I don't, I'm right? I'm like, what's going on here? Is that her daddy? Is it sugar daddy? Come by and get coffee? If she has a sugar daddy like that, why is she working the spot? Pretty sure she was doing a old uh, sip and go. <laughs> sip and go. Stabby McHugs, you got to stop talking about eating prosciutto and other cutlets off of Shani's body. It's not it's not okay. It's not okay. Matt Stoney ate a five pound burrito in two minutes. Was it a five pound? I had a five pound burrito once. It took me like 20 minutes. It was rough. <laughs> Oh, Elias, thank you for your thumbs up. Everybody watching right now, if you want to give us a thumbs up, much appreciated. Getting something ready to start the show here. Flock of Possum says, only time those cheeks clap is when Rev is breaking her back out. That's not true. I guarantee you if Shani rips one fart, there's a aftershock clap wave for like at least 2.3 seconds. Just a boom, boom, clap, 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 clap. The crapper clapper. I don't work at a bikini coffee stand. But for a while, Joe and I would go to the bikini coffee stands and see if they had, uh, was it oat milk or something? Oh, because he's lactose intolerant. Yeah. So we'd go and be like, do you have oat milk? And they'd be like, no. And so we'd just stare Fucking at them. Whore. We'd stare at them. Uh -oh. We'd stare at them for 4.5 seconds and drive away. We that could give them that weird, creepy incel ogle. We didn't actually do that. We were really looking for oat milk. We finally found a stand that had oat milk, but we went to like every coffee stand finding oat milk for them. Were they all? They all just happened to be the bikini coffee stands. We were in Everett. There was like four or five bikini coffee stands. Finally, we found like a, a hidden coffee stand out in like a little wooded parking lot. They had what we needed. We are going. To end this show and go and do our Patreon private show. If you guys want to help support the show, if you want some cool content, sign up now. Patreon.com slash DP. We are going there right now. See all of you there. $5 and above, come with us. Patreon, $5 and above. If you're not $5 and above, make it happen. Recommend $10 and above, though, for all the over-the-top video content. See you there. Bye. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet, gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at, get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.